Hi there, this is Tom Miller with Blickman Engineering Pro Tech Support. Today I'm going to walk you through the proper installation and operation of the Blickman Engineering single head keg washer. Upon receipt of your keg washer, wipe out the inside of the kettles to remove any contaminants from the shipping container. Install the CO2 and compressed air quick disconnects. Remember to wrap the threads with tape. Set your pressures to 70 PSI. This may need to be increased or decreased later. Connect the CO2 and compressed air supply. If you're using compressed air, turn the air purge switch to the on position. Attach the rinse water connection to the garden hose adapter. Optimal rinse supply is seven gallons per minute and no more than 80 PSI. The temperature can range between 40 and 80 degrees. Route the cycle drain hose to your floor drain. It is important that this hose does not run uphill from the connection bar. Ensure the system drain ball valve is closed. This valve remains closed until it is time to drain the unit. Connect the power cord to a GFCI receptacle. Note that this is a 20 amp plug. Prepare your chemicals and fill the kettles. Please see the manual for suggested chemicals. For the purposes of this video, we will be using colored water. Turn on the heater to your desired temperature. The temperature control knob is located under the black cap. It is best to fill the caustic tank from your HLT to shorten the heating time. Release the e-stop with a short clockwise turn. Position the Sankey head in a bucket or point towards the floor drain and press the prime pump button. Be aware, water will come out of the keg connector. Attach the keg to the connector and place the keg upside down on the keg rack. Press the purge keg button to evacuate the keg of any remaining liquid. This should be done with every keg. Adjust the control switches to the desired positions. Once the selections have been made, you can start the cleaning cycle by pressing the start button once for a half barrel or twice for a six barrel. A solid yellow light indicates a half barrel selection and a flashing yellow light indicates a six barrel selection. No further action is required and the unit will beep when the cycle is complete. Next we will cover key points of the operational cycle. The keg washer follows a five step operational cycle. It begins with a pre-rinse of unheated rinse water. This is followed by a multi-step chemical wash and another rinse step. After that, there is a sanitizer rinse followed by a purge and pressurization step. All of the rinse water is ejected through the cycle drain. It is important to ensure enough gas pressure to fully evacuate the keg. This can be verified by watching the cycle drain hose. Following the first rinse, there will be a series of caustic cycles. The first run of caustic will be sent out the cycle drain. The rest of it will be recycled back into the caustic kettle. It is important to watch the kettle return to verify there is enough gas pressure to fully evacuate the keg. You will likely only need to do this once and the lid can be replaced. Remember to check the liquid level to keep the heating element submerged. You will go through about a half gallon per keg. Another rinse occurs following the caustic cycle. This is when the switch to CO2 occurs if you are using compressed air. This is followed by a sanitizer rinse and final pressurization. The unit will beep when the cycle is complete and the keg can be safely removed. When you have finished cleaning kegs, the unit can be drained by holding the start button for three seconds. Be sure to shut off the city water supply, but leave the hose attached until the kettles are empty. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us directly as it's our pleasure to support you throughout your brewing journey.